Hey everyone, it's Jesse. Um, this is one of my very first YouTube tutorials on Unreal Engine Blueprints. So, um, that'll be really cool. Um, so this can either, like, go well or it can, uh, fail epically. But we're gonna hope that it goes well. So, anyway, um, we're gonna get started. So what are we gonna be doing today? We are going to be, um, making the ability from Titanfall 2, the phase shift ability. So, um, we're going to create our project real quick, and then I'll show you what the phase shift ability is real quick. Um, so we're going to go with the first person template, um, starter content, and I'm just going to name mine phase. You can name it whatever you want. So there we go. So while that is loading up, this is the ability right here. Um, so as you can see, Third dimension. Here, oh wait, oh, sorry, I don't want the audio. Um, so, here's the video, he just went into the phase shift of dimension. So, the big thing to know about this is, um, they're basically the exact same world, but, like, the other players, um, are not in the same world. They're two different d dimensions. But the cool thing is, as you can see right here, there's another player right here. So, um, that's because... They are both phase shift into the same dimension at the same time. Um, so that's cool. We're going to be doing that. So um, we're going to go back over here and we're going to have some fun. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to create our two different dimensions. So the way I'm going to do this is kind of interesting. Um, to set everything up first, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the physics cubes here because I don't really need those right now um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select everything except for the first person character and we're going to hold alt to just drag it out and we're gonna duplicate it so there we go I just duplicated it um, so if I select this main wall as you can see um the coordinates are at zero right now so if we cl click on the second one you can uh you can see oh sorry uh how did, well, okay you can see the coordinates are 4420 so what we're gonna do is whenever the player face shifts he's gonna basically teleport 400 and uh wait 4,420 units in the y-axis to end up in the second dimension. So that'll be how this functions. So first dimension, um, teleport um, that many units to this dimension, and then if you want to go back, you just do the negative and teleport him back that many ways. So we're going to click on our player, and we're going to do that right now. So we're going to click Edit Blueprint. So we're going to open our Blueprint. I'm just going to drag it on here, and we're going to make it so when he presses E, so the E key, and now I have to search for it, um, it's up here somewhere, and where is it, E, 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 there you go, E, so whenever it is pressed, uh, we're going to do a flip and flop, so flip and flop, basically, the way that works is when I press E the first time, it'll do A, Okay, this is A right here. When I press E the second time, it'll do B. That way, I can basically press it, press the same key, but go back and forth between the two dimensions. Flip and flop between the two dimensions. So the first thing we're going to do is going to, basically, whenever we press E to teleport, we're going to set the, or we're not using proper grammar, we're in coding, set actor location. And I always spell location wrong without the A. Set actor location. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this. And we're going to get the actor location, the current one. Get actor location. And we're going to split that too. Because like I said, we're going to be moving it 4,420 4, units. Um, into the other dimension. So I'm going to click the add float to float to 
um, for four thousand four hundred and twenty so there we go so we're gonna add that much um, just double check to make sure that is correct we're starting at zero and moving over here which is correct okay so we'll plug that in please note that you will probably um, move your um, two dimensions different um, different lengths so you're gonna have to figure out your own length so all you do is click here make sure that this is set at zero the main one the floor and then click on your duplicate and just read the um, you know number right there the y-axis we're going to be teleporting against the y-axis so um, then we're going to keep plug in all the other variables because we want the other locations to stay the same so for example if I were jumping that would be the Z value we want that to stay the same so when we phase shift I'm jumping in the other world as well so we're gonna check teleport that's very important because that makes it so if you teleport into an object for some sort of accident or something it won't cause a major glitch and you won't like glitch into the world um, it'll kind of avoid it so that'll work um, so we're gonna do that so there we go it's as simple as that now we're gonna copy and paste that that way we don't have to do all the work again and put it in for B which is basically when we click it again to teleport back so this is actually a relatively simple blueprint so we're gonna click negative oh I just I didn't have to delete the whole thing so we're just gonna make this negative that way um, it uh, reverses us back so if I were to come in here and um, let's see if I were to let's delete this so as you can see I'm looking around I'm in the first dimension oh, there's my headphones trying to shut off all right um, I'm in the first dimension right now now if I teleport ta-da I just teleport into the se uh, second dimension so there that's pretty cool uh, what would happen if I huh oh I'm frozen I can't move I'm stuck inside of the world okay then. all right um, so yeah see we can teleport in between by pressing E if you do it really fast though it starts to glitch huh look how the lighting changes okay so um, I'm gonna undo that let's see I'm gonna, I want my I want my cube there so command Z um, so the second thing as you can see in the um, video here when he's in the second dimension uh, there's kind of an overlay to like make it um, black and white. Um, yo, that would probably be cool. So it, we it, we can make the effect that we're kind of in a different you know zone. So the way we're gonna do that is mess with the cam. Uh, <laughs> sorry, cam. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, we're gonna mess with the camera filters. Um, so let's see. Uh, go to the first person. Click on the camera, and we have all these things to mess with so um i haven't messed with these too much temperature tint let's see shadows saturation contrast let's what do i want to do here i don't know here i'm gonna i'm gonna make this uh blue and a uh, tint i'm gonna give it a tint you can mess with all this stuff so um let's see and I'm gonna give it a tint of hmm 10 okay so now if I were to play okay that, that that everything's black I don't think I did that right two it will do two whoa well that's cool okay so obviously I'm gonna do this quickly um, so I'm gonna undo all of that that way um we're not that way we start out in the right camera zone okay so it all looks normal so everything looks normal now so we want to make it we want to add on to the blueprint right here whenever we teleport we also want to set the tint of the camera so we're going to do this add off of the event right here of a so right here we're gonna say um, 
let's see we're gonna actually drag our camera reference first and we're gonna get set tint set tint uh huh i'll just type in tint let's see well what is the exact name first person camera tint white balance maybe white uh, tint on I want to figure out I want to set it there's all these other ones set bloom tent tint um sure no I don't want to mess with that okay what do I want to do Let, let's find one that's a little easier probably an overlay image effects bloom what do I want to change about it I want to I want to change the shadows how about let's do the shadows contrast set shadows or i'll just type in contrast sorry i'm trying to figure this out um let's see how can i do this set set contrast set oculus and contrast uh we're just we're just gonna hope for the best Target? Nope, that's not. That, that is not even close. Check content. Set. Gosh, there's so many options. I want to set like the look of the camera. Oh my gosh. Um. Huh. To be honest, maybe we'll just forget about that for a second yeah we might just do that um uh, that's kind of easy stuff um to probably figure out so we can go back to that at the end um so let's see we are going to here's the cool thing as i showed you in the video before um right here as i told you you can see other players that are in the dimension right here you can see other players that are in the same dimension as you so we're gonna do that so what we're gonna do that with is blocks and I have a pretty cool idea we're gonna create a new actor actor and we're just block block there we go and we're gonna create a block cube there we go perfect cube okay and now I'm gonna simulate physics because we want to be able to mess around with it so here's my idea we're gonna make it so th these blocks randomly transport in and out of the two dimensions so it'll be cool they're constantly shifting between the two worlds which will be cool so we're going to do this event tick and we're going to get a delay 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 actually there's a shortcut if you just hold down d there you go a d and click um the duration we want it to be random get random get random let me just type in random I always forget exactly random float in range that's what you want so at minimum it should be two seconds before it teleports in and out of the two worlds at max let's go with 11 that way it can we have a little variety of when they randomly shift in and out of the worlds so we're in and float and there you go so it's going to constantly generate and we're going to do a flip and flop that's not what i wanted flip and flop there we go and we're actually you know what we'll just come into the first person and we're just going to copy and paste the exact same thing because it's the blocks are doing the exact same thing they are going in and out of the two dimensions so tr they're each translating along the y-axis the exact same thing if we compile it it works because the target is self and um, let's drag a bunch of these blocks in here shall we so I'm gonna put this in hold alt to be able to drag these around and if this works 
these should be randomly shifting in and out of the two worlds. So there we go, I have quite a bit. Just, just whenever you're ready. Just, just you know, like, like teleport. And I just realized that's actually not going to work because the actor itself um, is targeted, not the cube. So let's see, if I drag this and make the cube the scene root, that might work. So again, I just dragged that onto the um, self. So let's see, play. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, they're going in and out of the two dimensions. See, some are coming back. And if I were to shoot this one... Oh, it just disappeared. Now it should end up back here in one second. See? As you can see, it moved. So if I were to shoot this... Whoa. Just disappeared. Uh, okay. So as you can see, I can teleport in between the two dimensions. So let's see. I'm going to move this block. Oh, it just disappeared. I'm going to move this block over here in the corner. And we're going to wait. It just disappeared. So now I just teleport into the other dimension. And it's in here with me. And when it disappears, I press E, and I'm back with it. Alright, well, bye, everybody. Uh, so that's about it, and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe. Relatively simple. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, subscribe. Thanks for all your support. Bye.